making the dress. All right, go ahead and grab that mauve color or whatever color you are using to make the actual dress for the bunny. We can start with a short tail, one that's long enough where you can weave in your ends at the end of the project and then create your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook and we are ready to go. Start by chaining 30. One, two, three, 29, 30. Great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch into the very first chain to create a circle. But before we do that, we want to make sure there are no twists in our chain because that will just put a damper on everything. So go ahead and starting with your top chain, run your finger down the chains to make sure they're all facing the same direction. Then turn it and insert your crochet hook right there. Boom. So it's not twisting at all. And slip stitch to join. Perfect. Now we have a ring. We're going to work off of the ring. For row one, we will begin by chaining two. One, two. That chain two actually does count as your very first half double crochet. So it takes over that space of the chain stitch that we slip stitched into. Make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should end with a total of 30 half double crochets. Remember that chain two is our first half double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, 29, and 30. Great. Okay. So slip stitch in the second chain that we started with to close off row one. Okay. We're on to row two. Row two, we're going to chain two. One, two. That chain two does count as our very first half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet in that same exact stitch for an increase half double crochet. Make one half double crochet in the next 14 stitches and then increase half double crochet and then one half double crochet in the last 14 stitches. You should end row two with a total of 32 half double crochets. One, two, three, 13, 14. Perfect. All right, slip stitch into the second chain to close off round two or row two. Now we're ready for row three. Chain two, one, two. That chain two does count as your first half double crochet. Increase half double crochet in that first space. So making one more. The repeat pattern for row three is making one half double crochet in the next 15 stitches, then increase half double crochet and make one half double crochet in the last 15 stitches. You should end row three with 34 half double crochets. One, two, 14, 15, perfect. Slip stitch into the second chain, closing off row three. We're ready for row four. Chain two, one, two, counts as our first half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet in the same exact stitch for an increase half double crochet. The repeat pattern for row four is make one half double crochet in the next 16 stitches, then make an increase half double crochet and then one half double crochet in the last 16 stitches. You should end row four with a total of 36 half double crochets. Let's do this. Two, three, 15, 16. Great, slip stitch into the second chain to close row four. For row five, we will begin with chaining two. Counts as our first half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet in the same exact stitch for an increase half double crochet. The pattern for row five is one half double crochet in the first 17 stitches, then increase half double crochet, and one half double crochet in the last 17 stitches. 
you will end row five with a total of 38 half double crochets. One, two, 16, and 17, perfect. Slip stitch in the second chain, closing off row five. Great, row six, chain two. One, two, counts as half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet in the same stitch for an increase half double crochet. Great, the pattern for row six is one half double crochet in the first 18 stitches, then increase half double crochet, and one half double crochet in the last 18 stitches. You will end row six with a total of 40 half double crochets. One, two, 17, 18, perfect, slip stitch, second chain to close off row six. All right, for row seven, we're gonna chain two. You know the routine. Make one more half double crochet in the same stitch for an increase half double crochet. For row seven, the pattern is one half double crochet in the first 19 stitches, then do an increase half double crochet, and then one half double crochet in the next 19 stitches to close off row seven. You will end row seven with a total of 42 half double crochets. One, two, 18, 19. Perfect, slip stitch into the second chain closing off row seven, and we are on to row eight. Row eight, we're gonna chain two. One, two, one half double crochet in the same stitch we just started with for an increase half double crochet. For row eight, the pattern is one half double crochet in the first 20 stitches, then make an increase half double crochet, and then one half double crochet in the last 20 stitches. You will end row eight with a total of 42 half double crochets. Here we go. One, two, 19, 20. Great, slip stitch, second chain, close off row eight. For row nine, we're going to chain two, one, two, <laughs> counts as your first half double crochet. Make one more half double crochet in the same stitch for an increase half double crochet. The pattern for row nine is one half double crochet in the first 21 stitches, then make an increase half double crochet, and one half double crochet in the last 21 stitches. This is the last increase row, and then we get to make the actual border. You should end row nine with a total of 44 half double crochets. One, two, 20, 21. Great, slip stitch, second chain to close off row nine. Great, we are now on to row 10 where we will be making the bottom edge of the dress, the little ruffle at the bottom. To make the ruffle, we will chain one, make four half double crochets in the first stitch. One, two, three, four, perfect, and then slip stitch into the second stitch. Slip stitch, and repeat, four half double crochets, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch. Repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of row 10 to show you what we do next. One, two, three, four, slip stitch. And closing with a slip stitch for the bottom ruffle. Perfect, grabbing our scissors, cutting a tail long enough for us to be able to weave in that end. Yarn over, pull that tail through the loop on your hook, pull tight for a slip knot, and that part of our dress is done. Now what we're going to work on is the top section of the dress. Grabbing our yarn, small tail so we can weave in our end, create a slip knot, attach our crochet hook, 
great. We are ready to begin. Let's go ahead and slip stitch into the 17th stitch of the top of our dress. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So insert our crochet hook into that 17th stitch. Make a slip knot just so we can join the yarn to the project. Chain one and half double crochet in that same stitch we just slip stitched into. Perfect. And make one half double crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, nine. Perfect. So including that very first half double crochet, you should have a total of 10 half double crochets. You will chain one, turn your work, and make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across for a total of 10 half double crochets. One, two, three, nine, and 10. Perfect, just finished row 12 of our dress. If we consider this first row that we made, row 11, this would be row 12. For row 13, we will chain one, so that way we can turn our work. Skip the first stitch and make four half double crochets in the second stitch. One, two, three, four, perfect. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Skip the following stitch and make four half double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch. Make four half double crochets in the following stitch. One, two, three, four. We're gonna skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the very last stitch for a clean close. But we're not going to stop. We're actually going to move on to making our very first shoulder strap. Chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You will slip stitch into the thirtieth stitch. So if this was the twenty-sixth stitch, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So slip stitch into the thirtieth stitch to attach in the back, It'll look like this. Slip stitch into the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, nine, 10. Chain 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and slip stitch onto the other side of the front of the dress at the bottom of that fan right there at the, at the edge. Going to make a slip stitch and that will create the second arm strap. Perfect, grab those scissors, cut long enough tail for us to weave in our end. Yarn over that tail, pull it through the loop, pull tight for a slip knot, and that is your dress. Great, both hats, the green and the mauve pink color, are made the exact same way. There's no difference in the hats. There's only one way to make the hat in this pattern. Starting with the color of choice, tail long enough to weave in our ends at the end of the project, make our slip knot, attach our crochet hook, and we're ready to go. Start by chaining 40 chains. One, two, three, four, five, 39, 40. Perfect. Insert your crochet hook into that first chain. 
yarn over, pull through. And in the hat version that we are making, we're going to dive right into a single crochet stitch working continuous rounds. So yarn over, pull through both loops for a single crochet. And then continue making one single crochet in each chain all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what to do next. Great, coming upon the end of row one here. Perfect, okay. If you wanna use row markers, this would be a great opportunity. I see I have one more stitch before I make it to my next round. If you would like to, I would put a row marker right here in the top of this very last stitch so you know when you're making that, that transition. For me, I'm just gonna keep eyeballing where this tail is, leaving that tail out of the work. Make sure when you come upon row two, stretch out your project, your work here. Make sure there aren't any twists happening. That would be bad. You wanna make sure everything is straight before you dive in, because row two really helps secure those rows. For row two through row seven, you're going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Go ahead and continue, and I will meet you at the end of row seven to show you what we do next. All right, great. We are now on row eight. For row eight, we're gonna start working in the front loops only. So if you turn your stitches, your work, to look at the tops of them, you'll see your V stitches. We're going to work in the front loop only, leaving behind that back loop. Increase single crochet in the first stitch, which just means make two single crochet in that first stitch, front loop only, and then one single crochet, front loop only, of the next nine stitches. And that's the repeat pattern for row eight. Increase single crochet, then one single crochet, next nine stitches, then increase single crochet, one single crochet, next nine stitches. You'll repeat this all the way around for row eight, ending with a total of 44 single crochets. Don't forget with row eight, every stitch is only in the front loop only. So if you need to grab your claw to grab that front loop, again, leaving behind the back loop to make your single crochet. Two, nine, perfect. Okay, we just finished row eight. We're not going to slip stitch or anything. We're just gonna move right on to row nine. Row nine, we're going to go back to working underneath both loops not worrying about front loops anymore. For row nine, the new pattern is going to be increase single crochet and then one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. And then increase single crochet, one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around. For row nine, you will end with a total of 48 single crochets. One, two, nine, 10, great, just finished row nine. For row 10, you're going to increase single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next 11 stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around for row 10, ending with a total of 52 single crochets. One, two, and then one, two, 10, 11, great. All right, we just finished row 10 onto row 11. For row 11, the repeat pattern will be increase single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next 12 stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around for row 11, ending row 11 with 56 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, 11, 12. Great, just finished row 11, on to row 12, which is the last row of the hat. To do row 12, you will increase single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around for row 12, ending row 12 with 60 single crochets. Here we go. One, two, one, two, 
three, perfect. Once you have finished row 12, you're done with your hat. Grab your scissors, cut a tail long enough for you to weave in your ends. Slip stitch into the very next stitch over. Yarn over your tail, pull your tail through the loop and pull tight for a slip knot and then grab your yarn needle, tapestry needle. I wanna show you how I will take these two offset rows and sew them flat so they really just mesh together and you cannot see that there is a jagged stop. I will begin by inserting my needle from the outside of the work to the inside of the work in the same stitch that I just slip stitched into. And that really just tucks it all behind and sets it up for a good transition. Then I will come forward and back again. And that's how I transition for a smooth look that's not jarring. And then after that, I will weave in my end. Again, you can weave in your ends however you weave in your ends. The way I really like to weave in my ends was going through the stitches of the row below, going one direction, and then turning and going back upon what I just wove, skipping the stitches that are in the beginning. So going over those and then coming in through and that really secures that weave in and then cut off any remaining slack. Repeat that for the bottom and you have woven in and completed your hat. If you are to fold the bottom, flip it up a little bit, you will get that look that I have on my bunny. To make the overalls, begin with the color of choice that you wanna make your overalls in. Starting with a short enough tail to weave in your ends at the end of the project. Make your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, and we're ready to begin. Start by chaining 30 chains. One, two, three, 29, and 30. Perfect. Once you've finished your 30 chains, we will slip stitch into the very first chain to form a circle. But before we do that, make sure you run your thumb over your stitches so that they are not twisted in any way. Bring that last chain to your crochet hook and slip stitch to attach those two ends to each other. Perfect. For row one, you will chain two, one, two, that chain two does count as your very first half double crochet, and you will make one half double crochet in each chain all the way around. You will end row one with a total of 30 half double crochets. I will meet you at the end of row one to show you what we do next. 29 and 30, great. Okay, once you've reached the very end of row one, you wanna make sure that the tail of your work is out and pull your work tight so that way you can make sure there are no twists. Slip stitch in the second chain to close row one. Now for row two through row six, you're going to repeat this very same process. You will chain two, one, two. That chain two counts as your first half double crochet and then you will half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. You will end each row, row two through row six, with 30 half double crochets. I will meet you at the end of row six to show you what we do next. And last half double crochet of row six, great. Okay, moving on to row seven. Row seven, we will chain two. One, two, counts as our very first half double crochet. We will half double crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five six, half double crochet in the 23rd stitch. So if this was stitch eight, 
because remember, the chain two counts as our first half double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, half double crochet in that 23rd stitch. Perfect. And then half double crochet in the last eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight great slip stitch into the second chain to close off row seven for row eight we will chain two one two and make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around so let's get to those chains so i can show you how we can work the chains one seven okay great when we get to the chains Look at the V stitches here, yarn over, insert into every chain. You decide if you wanna go just the front loop, if you wanna go just the back loop, if you want to do two on top, one on the bottom, or how you wanna do your half double crochet stitches into your chain. I'm just going to go through the back loop only, keeping the front loop available for the next pant leg. So one, Finding my V-stitch, back loop only. But you, I don't have back loop only in the pattern. You can really just use this chain, like crochet in the chain, however you wanna crochet in the chain. All right, and then continue making one half double crochet in each stitch to Great. Slip stitch into the second chain to close row eight. For row nine through row 11, all you're doing is chaining two and making one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Continue on and I'll meet you at the end of row 11. And finishing row 11, beautiful. Okay, slip stitch to the second chain. Closing row 11, grabbing your scissors, cut a long enough tail for you to weave in your ends there. And that is pant leg number one. Perfect. So in the pattern, I call pant leg number two, 7A, because we go back to row seven, start with the tail long enough for me to weave in my ends, create my slip knot, insert my crochet hook. Okay, I start with the pant leg on one side. And then I attach my crochet hook into the very next stitch that was open and available. So this stitch already has a half double crochet in it. So the next stitch over is blank. I'm going to slip stitch into that stitch just to attach my yarn to the project. Then I will chain two, one, two. That chain two does count as my very first half double crochet. And then I will half double crochet all the way around to the op that where the opening closes right here. Let's do that together, making one half double crochet in each stitch. Great last stitch here on this side. You'll see that the very next stitch already has a half double crochet in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn and start working on the other side of the chain. So I will yarn over, insert my crochet hook into the other side of this chain and make my half double crochet stitch. You'll notice that there's a big hole here and that means I missed I missed a stitch spot. So making sure you don't do that. There we go, that's much better. And then when you get to the other side here, you'll slip stitch into the second chain to close row 7A. And look, we've already started the second pant leg. Perfect. All right, chain two. One, two, make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. You will continue doing this process through the end 
of row 11 on this side of the pant leg. You know what you're doing. I will see you at the end of row 11 here to show you what we will do next. Last stitch for row 11. Perfect, slip stitch into the second chain. Great, we have just finished our second pant leg. Grabbing our scissors, cutting tail long enough for us to weave in our ends. Oop. Yarn over that tail, pull it through the loop on our hook, pull tight for a slip knot. Boom, we have both legs. Now let's move on to the top part of our overalls. So taking same color, tail long enough for us to weave in our ends, create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook. We begin by slip stitching into the 10th stitch. So here's our tail at the top, counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, slip stitch into that 10th stitch just to attach our yarn to our project. Chain two, one, two. That chain two counts as our very first half double crochet. And now you're going to make one more half double crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, seven. Great, chain one, turn our work. This would be row 13. So what we just did would be row 12. This is row 13 and row 13, we're making one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So one, two, seven, and one more, eight. Great, we want a total of eight half double crochets. For row 14, we will chain one, turn our work, and we will repeat what we did in row 13, which is just one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across, a total of eight half double crochets. Perfect, last stitch here in the corner. We're done with the front part of the overalls and now we're ready for the strap. For the strap, we will chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You will attach the strap in the 24th stitch. So looking at where we began, counting to 24, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So in that 24th stitch, we will slip stitch to attach the strap, and then we will slip stitch in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And now chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and slip stitch to the front of the other side of the overalls. Perfect. Oh, there we go. And there's strap number two. Grab your scissors, cut tail long enough to weave in our ends. Yarn over, pull through the loop on our crochet hook, pull tight for a slip knot, and there are your little overalls. Oh, aren't they adorable? All right, that's it. That's how you make my springtime bunnies. I hope you had so much fun making these little guys. If you did, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>